If you are following along from the previous lesson, welcome back. Let's continue our discovery on blending modes. If you don't have it open, open up blending modes test lab.psd. Now, just a quick review of what we're doing. We're blending this into, let me turn that off, into this. So we can see the results of the same image being blended with a gradient, a solid color, and itself. Base, blend, result. Let's turn that back on. Let's come up here. Now, the first one we're going to look at is overlay. Let's come right down here. Keep your eyes on the left. Overlay multiplies or screens. That's darken or lightens the colors, depending on the base color. The base color is not replaced in this instance, but it's actually mixed with the blend color, and it reflects the lightness or darkness of the original color. So if we look at our gradient, that's probably the best way to do this with a gradient. You will notice that it is more aggressive as the areas get darker based on what you see down here, that's the original, and less as it gets lighter. Now in this case, it's an overall color, but it seems to impact mostly the lighter areas like the lines and brings them in with that color. And this one doesn't really change at all because it's the same thing. Let's go to the next one. Soft light. Darkens or lightens the colors, okay, depending on the blend color. Now, this is similar to shining like a really soft, diffused light on the image. That's kind of its effect. And again, it is more aggressive, although very, very subtly, as these get darker here. And you can see, not much, but just a little bit. This one, overall, changing the colors of those lighter areas. And this one, really, no effect at all. Soft light. Hard light. Now, sometimes, if you don't watch over here, it's hard to tell the difference. In this case, nah, looks pretty good. But sometimes it's nice to kind of try them and look at them in different ways to see how they change. So what's hard light? Hard light multiplies or screens the colors. We're getting back into darken or lighten, depending on the blend color. And this is similar to shining a really harsh spotlight on the image. And you will notice again that the impact here seems to be more aggressive as it gets darker, but it also gets more aggressive as it gets lighter. And in the case of the middle, where it's neutral, doesn't do much, if anything, at all. So this is working with really dark pixels and really light pixels. In this case, we have an overall wash. And in this one over here, just a little bit of change in this area. You can see it right here. Not much, though. That's hard light, a hard spotlight. Next one is vivid light. In vivid light, it burns or dodges. It darkens or lightens the colors by increasing or decreasing the contrast. But it's more aggressive on the extreme ends of brightness on the dark and light ends and less aggressive in the middle areas. Now, this is why I like a gradient again, it's easy to tell. We have more of an effect here and here in the light and dark areas than we have in the middle. This one, overall cast, because that's an overall color. And in this one, you can see it's affecting these areas, but mostly in the extreme areas of light and dark, vivid light. Next one is linear light. Now that burns or dodges, darkens or lightens the colors by decreasing and increasing the brightness. But again, it works in extremes of dark and light. So as you can see, the most extremes on our gradient are based on the dark and the light areas. And in the middle, it's left untouched. Again, we have a nice overall cast here. And on this one, it's impacting the areas primarily where the colors are real light or real dark, linear light. Next one is pin light. What's pin light do? Well, it replaces colors depending on the blend color. If the blend color is lighter than 50% gray, pixels are darker than the blend color are replaced, and vice versa if they're lighter. So again, we see most of our replacement on a gradient in the darker or lighter areas and very little, if any, in the middle. We have a definite overall blanket of the color up here, losing a lot of detail in the light and dark areas. And on this one, not much of any change at all because it's the same image. The last one is hard mix. It's a mathematical thing. It deals with the brightness of a pixel and it goes from zero to 255. So it's an on or an off thing. If they add all the numbers together, if the pixels are greater than 255, it drops it to 255. It won't go any greater. But if you add all three colors together and it produces a value of less than 255, it makes it zero. So you're either going to have a red or you're not. You're going to have a blue or you're not on off. In this one, basically, that's what it is. It's either on or it's off. Same thing here, except it's using that color. And the same thing here, even though they're the same image. 
To me, this is like an extreme posturization of the image. No gradients. It's either on or it's off. Hard mix.